<laughs> Hi folks, welcome back. Thank you for watching. Please do hit subscribe if you haven't done so yet. It really does help when you do that. So today, guys, a little bit of Fender history before we get going. In April of 1954, the first ever Fender Strat rolled off the production line. And for the first few months that this guitar was made, the single coil pickups were built using Alnico 3 magnets. But after a few months, for whatever reason, Fender switched to using Alnico 5 magnets. Now, this particular guitar has a set of Oil City Origin 54s in at the moment, which are replicas of 1954 pickups built using Alnico 5s. Over here, I've got a brand new set of Lindy Fralin Real 54s, which are essentially exactly the same as these pickups here, but built using Alnico 3s. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare these two sets of pickups to see exactly what difference the type of magnet has on Strat single coils. But one thing I will say now, I'm not going to demo positions 2 and 4, the split positions, only because these oil cities, when I had them built, I didn't have the middle pickup built as a reverse wind, reverse polarity. The Fralins do have that. So the split positions will sound hugely different regardless of the actual differences in the pickups. So I'm just going to do the sort of stock 1, 3 and 5 open positions as they would have been in the first ever Strats, because the original Strats only had a three-way selector, not a five. So without further ado, guys, let's get going. <laughs>
So there we are folks. Now the Alnico 3s in these Fralin pickups are weaker than the Alnico 5s in the Oil Cities and I think overall that gives these pickups a slightly weaker sound and less output and less punch but not necessarily in a bad way. They're less compressed, they have more dynamic range and the high end on these Alnico 3s seems to be a little sweeter. There's more chime up there than the Alnico 5s. But I'm guessing, and this is just my personal hunch, that that's why Fender changed them back in the day because the Alnico 3s in comparison to the Tellys and the Les Pauls of the era may have sounded a bit weak. So by putting the 5s in, they beef them up a bit and increase the output to kind of closer match those two guitars. As I said, that's just my personal hunch. But to be honest, I actually prefer these Alnico 3s. I like the high end and the dynamic range. So please do comment underneath, guys. Let me know what you think. Do you prefer the 3s or the 5s? Do you like 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s style strap pickups? I love chatting nerdy guitar stuff with you guys. So please do light up the comments section and please do carry on subscribing to this channel as well. It really does help when you do that. So thank you guys. I look forward to chatting to you underneath and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. <laughs>